robot again? Why? Because it'll do all our chores for us. Do you like doing housework? No. Well, it will do all our housework for us. It will do the dishes, the dusting, the mopping, the laundry. The... So you think Pin might have already built one? Of course he built one, because it's a great idea. I would have built one myself, but as you know, that's not my thing. I'm more into being brainy. Pin! Hmm. Could he be sleeping? really weird. When I come to surprise him, he's never here. Ooh. You know, where does he go when he's not with us? Uh. Uh. You see that on the wall there? Something here is not right. I think we should... Uh, crash? Crash? It's clear to me. What? How can it look clear to you? It looks like a bunch of weird marks on the ground. It's clear Pin's been kidnapped. <laughs> kidnapped by Martians! <laughs> You were a m m m m Martian, like the one running around in your yard as we speak. Nope, that's not a Martian. It's more of a mechanical nanny that I built for you. You know, someone to take care of you. But it turns out that it's too caring, aggressively caring. But you should still take it. Just don't mention I'm in here. No, let me go. I don't want that. No. That's just Chico. Don't let me go. Chico? Please. Let me go. Stop. No, I don't want it. I'm not hungry. No. You and I have to rescue him. There is no way he can take much more. I told you I'm not a baby. I don't need a diaper. Hey, I am babysitter. I'm a baby. Don't you want to take care of me? Thank you very much. Our plan works perfectly. <laughs> This is the 
like housework, but I don't like robots either. You know, I've been thinking that maybe we don't need a robot. Aren't we able to do everything ourselves? Well, of course we can. We might not like to cook or clean, but robots can be a lot of work, too. You need to change their oil, change their batteries, and if they get a glitch... Then who knows what'll happen? It's true! Well, my friends, as they say, all is well that ends well. <laughs> A warm Saturday afternoon is the perfect time for spring cleaning, especially if there's a friend there to help. And especially if it wasn't done last spring, or the spring before that, or... <laughs> you know, there's a lot of stuff in here I don't think you need. Thanks, but I do need all those things. Of course I do. If you say so. Uh oh. What about this? I need that too. Huh. Oh, what's this? I don't know. What's in there? Uh, I can't see. What's in there? Hey, look at this. Oh. <sighs> Let's screw it in. All we need is electricity. I don't have it. Or a lamp. Oh, oh let's go to Pins. He always has everything. Yes, but what is it? <laughs> Thanks! I call it perpetual motion. It takes wood like so and turns it into energy. And then it takes more wood to burn and it makes more energy. <laughs> ah, then it gives you electricity, am I right? No, it doesn't give me anything. It just takes and takes. Say, what do you need electricity for anyway? This! Ooh, that is one fine-looking light bulb. Just a moment. <laughs> Behold, this machine transforms power from the wind into electricity. I will explain. The wind blows, the blades rotate, and then the lights turn on. But look at it. It's not on. <laughs> well, the wind is not blowing, and the blades are not rotating, and so therefore the light bulb is, is not, not on. on. Hmm. Uh, maybe we could do it without wind. This here should help. <laughs> now that's more like it. Maybe it works better with wind. But where's the wind? Oh, you know the wind. Here one day, gone the next. But don't worry, someday the wind will return. Ah! No, no! Bad machine! What's the fence ever done to you? Oh, I've got it! We're going to dig a hole right through the earth. Then the wind can travel through the hole and get to us faster. <laughs> <laughs> So what is it you guys are up to this time? We are digging a big hole. Then when the wind's blowing around on the other side of the earth, it'll also be blowing here. Tell me, are you crazy? We will get the most dreadful draft. 
And dreadful drafts lead to dreadful colds. I hereby demand you exit this hole. Come on, Olga. Just be a pal. Let us dig. Just be a pal. Pals don't let pals get sick. Huh? Now exit the hole. Wow. Next, can you try to make wind? Please? I don't know. But what the heck? Let's try and find out. <laughs> oh. The solar cell is what we need. It creates electricity from the sun and not the wind. <laughs> Actually, its smart lights should be on when it's dark, not in the day when the sun is shining. What a great point! We need to build something that creates energy at night. We're all supposed to sleep at night. Hmm. Maybe we're all supposed to sleep, but not all of us can. Especially if your house happens to be located right next to the den of Big Barry the Bear. That bear snores so loudly that every single wall in my house shakes. Big Bear lungs! A Big Bear snoring will produce big gusts of wind! It's on! Sweet sauerkraut! It's working! Shh, quiet! What's going on? Oh, why is it so bright? Barry, sleep, 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 sleep. I don't know how it is where you are, but around here, spring cleaning is a big adventure. So big, in fact, that sometimes we don't actually get around to the cleaning part. But one way or another, things do tend to work out. Tropical vortex coming up the coast is going to give us a little light cloud cover and with some occasional showers, which of course will be good news for our horticulturalists and vegetable patches. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, horse tourists and girdlers. No, no. Horticulturists and gardeners. <laughs> oh boy, did that get away from me. Elsewhere, we're going to be feeling a little light winds and maybe carrying a little pollen from that storm for you allergy sufferers. But otherwise, you can expect plenty of sunny skies in perfect conditions. So, Professor, you're telling me that harvests from vegetable patches will contain more vitamins and minerals if the cultivated plants are kept safe and separate from those pervasive, savage little weeds? What is that? Oh, brother. I'm growing a vegetable patch here, not a flower garden. Absolutely right. And what is a weed? Populus vita? It's a plant. Wild. A corruption in every respect. Ah, oh, Professor, how right you are. Ah, oh, now isn't that beautiful? Chico, would you rather have a few carrots right this very moment or be in a good mood for the remainder of the summer? What would you choose? That's easy. I'd choose the good mood, of course. It's been decided. Chico has refused his portion of the carrot yield and gifts them to his best friend, Crash. And would you rather have a few apples or... <laughs> Apples, lots of them. Oh. 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 Hey, Barry, why would you plant the entire garden with flowers? What are we supposed to eat now? It's not me, I promise. It's the weeds. Ivy's eating up the whole, the whole crop. Oh. Okay, weeds. Watch out. There will be a reckoning for the crop you stole. <laughs> now it's time for weightlifting exercises. Pick up your weights. Up, down, up, down. Remember to breathe. Your arms are light, yes? One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. This concludes our daily exercise. What if they're not weeds at all? but some special kind of crop. We could be rich! And what if it's poisonous? <laughs> oh, 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 yep, I'll be right back! Let's run! <laughs> of course it's poison. It's ivy. We're continuing our broadcast with music by request. 
It's a solution of my own design. It's harmless for cultivated plants, but these unruly weeds won't be able to stand it. Barry, watch where you're spraying. The solution is harmless for cultivated plants. It only affects unruly pests. Uh, uh, somebody help me. <laughs> See, the weeds are only continuing to spread, growing stronger, more impudent, in a word, uncultivated. There's a theory that we're all doomed to return to a primal state. Oh, it's back. Give me just a second. I'll be right back. Whoa, whoa. It's so windy up here. Next shot got our airwaves. They are being inflated. Oh, Barry, help! Huh? Huh? Chico? Chico! Let go! Let go, you uncultivated! Very. Uh, I'm coming! I'm climbing! Here I come! I'm coming, Chico! Especially for the farmers! Gotcha! Yeah, gotcha! Our broadcast. No, oh. it's the apotheosis. What? Chico, Barry, where are you going? We really need to get down somehow. I won't allow it. Come back, guys. You guys, you're in trouble. What? Oh, your house. Oh. Your wheelbarrow. Oh, the the harvest. harvest. Receives the pass and slips to the left. To the right. He's unstoppable as he... Touchdown! Oh. The seeds of that weed are kind of good. They're tasty. Oh. Yeah, I'll be right back. <laughs> Chico, that's a new look. <laughs> Crash won't let me in. I think he's really busy with something, or... <laughs> Him busy? Come on, open up! Crash, it's freezing out here. But I can't open the door. If I do, the old year will escape. And I still haven't finished my resolutions from last year. Not that your resolutions aren't important, but can you just let us slip in? Fine. But be quick. No. Carrots, I told you he would get away. <laughs> it's the old year. We have to get him. Stop. Stop. Get back here. Old man, come back. Happy holidays! Oh, 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 oh
What's gotten into you all? Wait! It's just Carlin! We got ahead of ourselves. We thought that you were the old year. Jeez, I'm not that old. Birds do live long. So, you don't want the old year to go. Mm hmm And this is how we stop it. We need an organized plan of action. Rosa, flank the left side and windows. Daco, you guard the gate. Chico, patrol the front. And I have a particularly creative method for keeping all the good times in and letting nothing out. The days are getting longer and the nights are turning cold. But we won't let the year run out because it's getting old. We'll sneak close and we'll snatch it up, so don't be feeling low. The new year has to wait a while for where did the old year go? Where did the old year go? Huh? Oh, what a nice surprise. Everyone together singing songs out here in the snow. What a lovely New Year tree. <laughs> I've got just the thing to decorate it. Now we can ring in the New Year's arrival. But we don't want the new year here yet. We have to guard the old year. Let someone else guard him. No one ever said we had to do it. But where would we find someone? It is late. <laughs> we'll just make a snow guard. <laughs> Phenomenal idea. Our resolutions in the past are long out of the way. We'll make a snowman for the year and try another day. Cause all the stuff we said we'd do, there's not a lot to show. But that's what Ooh. brand new years are for. Where Ooh. did the old year go? Old year go! Where did the old year go? Where did the old year go? Dab 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 old year go. Who, who, who do you, who, mm -mm. Mm. oh, so your goals? Finished. No. Nope. <sighs> Resolution number 14, grow a foot. I still just have two. I didn't finish yet. to whatever. <laughs> this one time, Crash the Rabbit got a hanker in to do a little home improvement. Realizing that his bottom was mighty bored, he decided to build something new for it to sit on. He spent a few days building a nice sturdy bench, then painted it a lovely shade of pink. While the paint was still wet, his neighbor Chico the Hedgehog paid him a visit. Hey Crash, what's up? Crash? Huh? Hey, dude. It's done? Yep. I'm just waiting for the paint to dry. It turned out pretty nice. I wish that I could sit on it now. Well, that depends on what kind of paint you used. Quick drying or snow drying? Beats me. But by now, it's probably dry. Nope. Obviously, it's still wet. Sorry, but it looks like you used slow drying paint. 
Crash was not a fan of waiting. He liked to keep busy. Fine then. I'm gonna find something to do while I wait for the paint to dry. Look! I've got all this paint left. Need anything pinkified? I don't think so. Thanks. Bummer! Oh, I could give you rose-colored glasses. Thanks, but no. Maybe Wally has something he needs painted. Great! Come on, let's get over there! Wally was a poet, but based on the garbage he was writing that day, you'd never know it. Wally! 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 <laughs> Please stop yelling out there! My poet mojo is very fragile. This page doesn't appear to have any mojo on it at all. Maybe we scared his mojo away. <gasps> you can't see poet mojo on a page. Poet mojo must be felt in your heart. All right, and what exactly does poet mojo feel like? Well, it's like when something enormous, heavy, groggy, unmovable like a hippopotamus, it becomes light as a feather and flies, like a cloud flies, flies puffily, cloudily, lovelily flies. Uh, I'm a bit confused over here. Oh. Are you saying good poetry's like a flying hippo? It couldn't be clearer. The poetry mojo makes the hippo fly. Without it, every word is stuck in the mud. Oh. But with the poet mojo's inspiration, those muddy words grow wings. Hmm? Oh. What is this? Paint? Hey, it looks like I was right. Wally wanted something painted after all. Why are you doing that? I'm covering these horrible groups of words up. But you're the one who wrote all of them, right? And it's my responsibility to protect the world from them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, this is terrible. You're painting all your poet paper pink? These mojoless musings are worse than you think. Ooh, sounds like the first two lines of a poem. I should write it down. All right, but you just pinkified all your paper. No sweat. One can write poetry anywhere. Painting all my poet paper pink. Mojoless musings are worse than you think. But perhaps the pink pages will inspire you to grab a brush and paint a... Paint a bench? Say what? It needs to rhyme like paint a hippo or two. Or better yet... Pipe down. My mojo's back. A hippo's life might look hollow, spending his days in a filthy wallow, with nothing but more of the same to follow. But hear the noble hippo call. Oh, ne'er has the world known a happier soul. If you doubt it, then you can just go paint a bench. What's wrong? Did his mojo bail again? Looks like it. His hippo must be stuck in the mud, so to speak. Wally, come on! How long are you gonna stay up there? I can't get down! He's probably just waiting for the paint to dry. No, I can't get down because I'm really terrified of heights! Then, then why'd, why'd you, you climb, climb a, a tree? tree, Wally? No idea. It just happened. We'll find a way to get you down. Yep! <laughs> Go. Uh, ooh, this isn't quite high enough. Then we need more. Stop! Guys! Guys! Please help me! Almost there. Kinda. We're out of stuff. Hmm. Wait! Yes! Easy. <laughs> so, is it over? Wet paint sign. It was a nice little bench. Uh -oh. hmm. Crash, Chico. You saved my life, remember? Your good friend, Wally. I'd like to think I'm worth more than a bench. At least a little. Of course, it was a really nice bench. Wally, pal. Of course you are. I can make as many benches as I want. But there's only one Wally, and he's a treasure. Chico teared up a little watching the tender scene. To keep from crying, he looked up at the sky. Wally, Crash, look it! It's a... 
A real flying hippo! Yeah! Yay! Look at him go! Mojo Hippo! Oh, how wonderful! Ah, the sky is blue and the birds are singing. The air is sweet and fragrant. It's the kind of day where all you want to do is lie back on the soft grass and watch the clouds. You know, think happy thoughts and all that. It's ridiculous. Does he realize how much I have to get done? And I was supposed to go hang out with my friends. I was looking forward to it. Isn't this just the most beautiful day ever? <sighs> What's wrong with you? It couldn't get any worse! You can say that again. What happened? Why are you so upset? <laughs> Why couldn't it be tomorrow? Or next Saturday? Or the Saturday after that? <laughs> Daco's reading our horoscopes again, interpreting our astrological signs. He says that Crash has to refrain from any activities. And look at this. I'm supposed to only do chores and not go out or do anything fun. It's completely unacceptable. Bum 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 bum. Hmm. Bum 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 bum. Hmm. Hmm. Alpha Centauri has a bright corona today, which is great news. But Mars is in retrograde, which can only mean. Well, I think it means. Wait. What does that mean again? Hmm. Now it's your turn. I'm doing everyone's horoscopes today. Uh, I don't buy any of that. Well, that's too bad, Wally. Because if I'm reading this right, it says that today you can expect to receive a special gift. Oh, well, why didn't you just say that in the first place, Daco? No wonder I feel so bright and chipper this morning. Hmm. 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 Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> Wally. What are you doing in that tree? Uh, I, I'm looking for something. It's around here someplace. It's a gift. Mm. Mm. Um, uh, nothing in here but this thing. <sighs> I'll keep an eye out for it. What's it look like? <sighs> It's kind of hard to tell someone what your gift looks like when you don't even know what it is, isn't it? So, Ollie, let's have a look. At what? At what? At your gift. You can't, because there is no gift. Nonsense! Of course there is! Do you see one? I wouldn't even want it if there was one anyway. If it's so important to you guys, then you take it if it ever shows up! Daco, have them send my gift back. I just can't take the waiting around for it anymore. That's impossible, Wally. No one can stop the movement of the stars. The trick is to learn what to do with what they toss our way. Just try and be a little more patient. The day's almost over anyway. <sighs> <laughs> Finally. Huh? <gasps> it 
It's party time! <laughs> show us, show us! I already told you there is no gift. <laughs> what? Maybe it's in a different spot. Ow. Maybe it's really small, and you didn't see it. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, don't worry about it. I have tomorrow's horoscope here for you. I guess that means today. According to what I see, it seems that today you can expect another gift. Huh? You lucky goat! Uh, what? That's great news! Congratulations! <laughs> 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 For the third straight day, not counting lunch breaks, Rosa was reading the very bestest book she'd ever read. It was full of lovely pictures and poetic words, but she had almost reached the end. In fact, there's so little left, we can probably read the rest of it with Rosa. The fearless knight drove away the monstrous dragon and smiled suavely at the princess he had just saved. When you're around, said the princess to the knight, my heart does flip-flops of unbridled joy in my royal ribcage. Beautiful writing. I wish my ribcage was royal. And when you're around, the dashing knight replied, I feel alive, like I could vanquish every dragon in Dragonland without breaking a sweat. Oh. He took her by the trotter and led her back to the palace, where they ate much cake. What? That's all? <clears throat> Must be super great to be a princess. Strong, handsome knights always going on daring quests to gain your notice. Hey, I wonder if some knights would go questing for me if I encouraged them. Princess Rosa decided to inspire Sir Chico and Sir Crash. They were doing scientific tests at the time. <laughs> and is not science itself a quest for knowledge? Done and done. Time to start the countdown. Um, five and four. Hi, boy. Three, Do I look any royaler? Two, Dare I say even princess -like? One. Are you inspired by Boom. it? Boom! Ah! What the burnt bacon? All right. Look at that. Awesome. Look at me. Some knights. Strangely, neither Chico nor Crash dropped everything to go on a quest for Rosa. Maybe she needed a knight who was more mature, less silly loud boyish. Someone like Wally. He was a poet. Poets are totally romantic, right? Well, hello there, Wally. It's kind of crazy, but all day long my heart has been doing flip-flops in my royal rib cage. Yee! Wally! Hey, Wally! Uh, hello, Rosa. Hi, finally. Are you all right? I'm terrible. For I am... talentless. But you're really talented. I'm not. Let's be honest with each other. I stink. My poems are awful. What do you say about your heart? Actually, nothing special. Olga has this great heart medicine, made from pine cones or something. It's good for whenever you're nervous. Sometimes it really helps. Want some? Mm -mm. When life gets hard, seeking good advice can really help. Rosa decided to ask Carlin for his advice about who she should get to quest for her. Maybe Carlin himself would want to do it. <laughs> Weeping worms, Rosa! What's happened to make you so miserable? I read a book! What, the saddest book ever written? No, it is the happiest ending ever about a beautiful princess! <laughs> Everyone loves! Everyone goes on quests for her, but it seems no one will do anything for Princess Rosa at all! I just feel so sad! I see. Well, first of all, you must stop crying. You say you feel sad and lonely? My dear, you couldn't have come to a better bird. No one understands feeling lonely like a big, loud, grumpy, crotchety old crow. One time, my ship got caught in a storm and sank, and I ended up shipwrecked. I found myself alone on a small island, completely cut off from the rest of the world. 
Then I discovered another passenger washed up on the other end of the same island. Turns out he was this prince from some foreign kingdom. Prince? All right, now you're talking. I'll find a prince as soon as possible. Thank you, Carlin. One thing, where can I find one? Like, is there a prince shop? Mm, bye. My prince? Prince, prince! Rosa went down to the beach and searched all the dunes, hoping desperately to find that at least one shipwrecked prince had washed up there. Rosa searched and searched, but alas, she did not find a single prince. She sighed as the sun began to vanish on the horizon, taking the hopes and dreams of a certain pig with it. Oh, sweet mystery of life! At last I found you! I am the princiest prince ever! Please send me on a quest! Uh, thank you, Pumpkin Prince. I was just heading home. But you must not! Why? You must send me on a quest! <gasps> quest! Quest! It's all you've talked about all day! Give me a quest! Give me a... What were you doing inside that thing? Hey! So, uh, we thought you'd like it if someone went on a quest for you. So uh, we constructed a prince. You call that a prince? It's a monster! I told you guys. Because the prince was really a dragon in disguise the whole time! <laughs> Rosa looked around at her dear friends who had gone to so much trouble. <laughs> Just to make her happy. They were way better than some silly prince. She realized that all of them were already on a wonderful quest. All together. A quest called Being Lifelong Friends. Well, I'm not a princess, but I'm as happy as one. One day, Rosa and Wally agreed to meet at the tallest pine tree in the forest at 9 a.m. sharp. What's the purpose of this meeting, you might ask? Well, we're about to find out. Well, it looks like I'm the first one here yet again. No surprise, I'm on time. I just can't be late. I thought we were meeting at 9 o'clock. Yes, we were. It's already 9.35. You overslept. Huh? Uh, Rosa, you messed up. <gasps> Don't pin this on me. No, wait. It's just that your watch is an hour behind. Or maybe we just live in two different time zones, Buster. No, you just need to reset your watch for daylight saving time. That's why you're an hour early, Rosa. Oh, whatever. I'm right, and Rosa's wrong. Hmm. Hmm. Wally! Do you think that we could borrow your hammer? Sure. You're the best! Don't you want to know what we need a hammer for? If you need a hammer, I'm guessing you need to put nails in something? Uh, why? Is everything all right? <laughs> right. It's not good to keep things bottled up. What happened? Well, Rosa and I got into an argument. And was it your fault? No, it wasn't my fault at all. Then you should go make up with her. No. She made me mad. She forgot to set her watch and then blamed it all on me. 
Mm. All right, so go and talk to her and make up. Be first. No, 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 not mm. at all. Mm. Molly needs to be tough. Yeah, <laughs> because I'm right and Rosa was wrong. She yelled at me for absolutely no reason. It's all her fault. He's right. She needs to apologize. Be the first and all that. You know, something like this happened to me. What's taking so long? Maybe you should go first. Who, me? Not a chance. No way. But weren't you the one who got the time wrong? Yeah, maybe I did. But that was just a mistake. Oh, but then he hurt my feelings. He said I messed up. Well, <laughs> I'm sure he didn't mean it like that. So much for fiction, Chico's roof. He's got a leak. A big one. Oh, I have to fix this. Who cares if I'm right? If I feel bad. Here's an idea. You could give her some kind of gift. Maybe uh, make her something to patch yeah. things up. That's it. Make her a cake. But I've never made anyone a cake before. It can't be that hard. All you need to do is find yourself a good cookbook and follow the recipe. In fact, I think Rosa has one you can use. Oh, I bet that's him. Oh, he's come to apologize. Oh. Hey, guys. We're wondering if... Well, if we... We need your cookbook. You want my cookbook? Do you even cook? We never have, but we thought we would. And my roof still has that leak in it. Yeah, we need to fix his roof. And you thought my cookbook would help? I want to pickle carrots afterwards. Here you are. So, um, do you like sweet stuff, Rosa? <laughs> mm -hmm. Sweet stuff? Of yeah, course. Yeah, gotta go. Thanks for the cookbook. Someone borrowed my cookbook one time. Huh? Me again. You think we could borrow some sugar? I think you mean salt. If you're pickling carrots. Um, my grandma used sugar for flavoring. Fine. Here you are. Thanks, Rosa. It seems we also need a mixer. Sure, for the carrots, right? Right, for carrots. <laughs> I guess I did yell at Wally for no reason at all. <sighs> it really wasn't his fault. I was wrong. I'll be first to say it. <sighs> ah, oh. Oh. Ah. I'm sorry, Rosa. Here, I made you a castle. You can eat it. Oh. Oh. Uh, it's good, right? Yes, it's very good, Wally. Thank you. Sometimes I can be sort of unreasonable. Oh, forgive me. <laughs> <laughs> you know you ate the clock, oh, right? Good. That's <laughs> right. More like I said. Like my grandma used to make. <laughs> Which is funny, since this started with your watch and all. <laughs> In spring, life can become so hectic, so chaotic. Time is always flowing, flowing somewhere. And you don't have a moment's respite to rest and reflect about the grand and essential things in life. And there are those that have something grand and essential to remember. Breathe in, breathe out. Oh, oh. <sighs> Wake up! Come on! Your body craves movement! Time to exercise. And one, and two, and get up, get up, get up, get up, and one, and two, and come on! We're gonna do this now! Go, go, yeah! Ah! Ah, ah, ah! Oh, poor Olga. All of our youth and vigor has left us such a long time ago. We have such a wealth of experience behind us that we should just learn to savor the memories. And if we keep jumping like crazy, all of those memories will be jostled away. There'll be nothing to remember. Then we're forgotten. Wrong, my friend. Our memory, Colin, is an inalienable part of the soul. The soul is a central part of the heart and mind. And a healthy mind, of course, lives in a healthy body. Just feel deep within, and you'll feel all of your memories getting stronger and stronger. <laughs> ah, hard to port. We've deviated from the channel. <laughs> We're drifting toward the rapids. Stand from under. <laughs> What's 
What's this? What do you think you're doing roughhousing over puddles? <laughs> Don't you know who you're hurting? Hmm? Who? Enemies! <clears throat> of your own health! Wait! I think I've just remembered something. Hmm? Now it's gone. I've definitely forgotten something. We've shaken them out. Shaken who out? What'd you forget, Carlin? Hmm. Carlin forgot an amusing story about... <sighs> Getting hurt jumping over puddles. Once he remembers, he'll tell you all about it. Yes, now! Hmm, I remember jumping over puddles. Hmm. He doesn't want to share. Greedy. Hmm? Remember, jumping, jumping. Exactly. You've shaken up my memory. All of my lovely memories, they've all fallen out. You are sitting in a big, cold puddle. Yes. You're starting to jump in a big, cold puddle. Yes. On the count of three, you'll open your eyes and recall everything. One. Yes. To who? Yes. Three. <laughs> well, now? I've got it. I remember. I was telling this story to Daco. Yes, of course, of course. There was something about puddles. That means it starts with the letter P. Well? I write everything down, but... Oh, I don't remember where it is. Oh, oh boy. Remind me again. What were you talking about? Well... I remember that someone was jumping over puddles, and then... Mm, Got sick? I don't remember. But I do remember there was some very important message. Big and very important to me. Got sick and developed a complication. I'm afraid we'll be so old when we learn what it is. We won't even remember. There is only one way left for us. To remember it all! <laughs> now we'll start reading your memories! Focus on jumping over puddles, and your memories will start appearing on this screen. If you recognize something, yell as loudly as you can. Here we go! Hey, Colin, what are you thinking about? Huh? Oh. Ah! Kids are not allowed to watch this. Well, we don't want to watch it anyway. How can he recall something about puddles when all kinds of things are swirling in his head? <laughs> oh! <coughs> it overloaded. I've recalled. Stop! What's going on in there? Stop. Oh. Quick, quick, before he forgets again. I remember! It was me jumping over puddles! Carlin must have got something wrong. What can be more important than jumping over puddles? Chico! Oh well, that's it. Puddles or no, I tell you what, Chicos don't jump. Not anymore. The rest ye! The reefs are ahead! <laughs> Man your stations! <laughs> Bosun! Pipe all hands on deck! <laughs> From beyond the wooded island to the river wide and free! Proudly sail them. What comes next? I don't remember. Happiness is a strange thing. Sometimes it's there, sometimes it isn't. And with the gloomy days of autumn coming, Wally felt his happiness slowly disappear. So, he decided to go for a walk and look for it. Over here! Huh? Hurry! Okay, wait up. Uh, no, 
It's here now. <sighs> oh, I'm going as fast no, as I can. Now it's over here. Oh, come on, son. before the winter. What happens when it's gone? We'll cross that bridge later. Hmm. What are you guys doing? Wally, move it! You're blocking the sun! Huh? I ain't supposed to rain today, but what do I know? Sheesh. left us, but we didn't absorb enough sun. Oh well, if I knew that's how it worked, I would have been absorbing warmth all summer. Maybe I'll go to Olga's house. That always cheers me up a little. to turn that frown upside down. I didn't quite mean the cup. <laughs> well, how do you feel? Cheerful yet? Mm -mm. Let's try one from an old family recipe of alder buds. It's all organic. Uh-oh, not that organic. <laughs> No thanks. There's no point. Huh. Your disposition seems to be contagious. Mm? Mm. Nothing I do works. You can lead a sheep to tea, but you can't make him drink. <sighs> oh, I've got uh, uh... a little fish oil should do the trick. Don't worry. It's no one we know. I might as well be a fish with this rain. It's a bad time of year. I just want the sun again. Don't you have anything with some warmth in it? Other than starting a bonfire, tea is the best solution I know. Poor Wally quickly became convinced that his mood was destined to stay low until spring. Some people only find joy when the grass is green and the sun is bright. Uh, me, personally, I enjoy a bit of snow, but to each his own. Is that... the sun? Someone pinch me. <sighs> a little higher. Higher. Great. Our genius is blinding. Anyone up for some herbal berry tea? The berries grow in the sun all summer, so in a way, they've still got some of the sun's energy. I'm very creative, huh? <laughs> that is nice. I feel warmer. We can always make our own summer. 
as they stood under the umbrella with Olga's delicious tea and awful jokes, the day finally felt a little sunnier. And just maybe they'd have enough of this sunny feeling to get them through winter. Hope she's got enough tea to last. We can spare the jokes. <laughs> <laughs>